Hello, and welcome to the New Hampshire Realtors Installation Ceremony. I'm Bob Quinn, the CEO of NHAR, and your Master of Ceremonies for our first virtual installation. I'm honored to have earned the trust of this organization to become its ninth executive officer, and I'm equally excited for the opportunity to continue moving it forward. But I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge our dear friends, the late Paul Griffin and Diana Dunning, and their respective roles in building a trade association that has become a model of efficiency, adaptability, and most of all, member-focused. I, and we, owe them a debt of gratitude that I know we will continue to repay with our hard work on behalf of NHAR. Paul and Diana were always the first to acknowledge the extraordinary leaders upon whose shoulders this association was built and has flourished. Your past state presidents, and while I wish I could name each of you in the audience today to thank you individually, I do offer a collective thank you for your efforts. We understand this is not an easy role. You were placed onto an already moving treadmill on January 1st and asked to immediately get up to speed. And just about the exact time you're starting to get the job figured out, it's the end of summer and we're planning your going away party. Or at least that must be the way it seems. I'm sure each of you can relate to the experience on some level. But even so, we've had an incredible tradition of successful NHR presidents since Earl Bishop in 1942 each has helped to shape a piece of the association into his or her own likeness. And the flourishing organization we have today is the tangible result. So to each of those 66 presidents, from Mr. Bishop to Mr. Drapeau, and everyone in between, you should be proud. You've earned it. The next among those presidents, of course, is our guest of honor for today's ceremony, Jim Lee. And I can think of no one better to kick off our formal presentation than a very special guest. All the way from Crystal Lake, Illinois, Jim's grandson, Cooper Buelna. Please rise and join Cooper for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Papa James. Thank you, Cooper. Very well done. I would now like to welcome members of our 2021 Executive Committee to lead us in the Realtor Pledge. As a quick side note, you may notice that this is not the version of the Realtor Pledge that we have used for the ceremony in the past. This is actually the more current version as modified in the mid-1990s. It contains the same six points in the original 1954 version, but it has been modernized somewhat and altered to emphasize different points. To our Realtor members, we ask you to kindly raise your right hand and join our executive committee in reciting the pledge, which you will find on your screen. I am a realtor. I pledge myself to strive to be honorable and to abide by the golden rule, to strive to serve well my community and through it my country, to abide by the realtor code of ethics and to strive to conform my conduct to its aspirational ideals, to act honestly in all real estate dealings, to protect the individual right of real estate ownership. And to widen the opportunity to enjoy it. To seek better to represent my clients. By building my knowledge and competence. Thank you, everyone. I'd now like to invite the sister of the 2003 NHR president, Ann Cummings, Pastor Karen Farr, who is joining us from Richmond Dale, Ohio, for today's invocation. It is such an honor and privilege to be invited to be a part of this. So Jim and Ann, thank you so much. We are rejoicing today with Jim Lee and Ann Cummings and, and of course all of you as Jim is installed as president of the New Hampshire Association of Realtors. We also celebrate the incoming team that we know will be collaborating and working hard for each one of you. I invite you to take these moments to give thanks in your own way in your own heart as I offer this invocation. Pray with me. Gracious and loving God, God of all times and places, this has been a hard year for so many individuals, families, businesses, and communities. A global pandemic is something we never in our wildest imaginations thought that we would be experiencing. And yet this is where we find ourselves, navigating to the best of our abilities. We thank you, God, that nothing surprises you and that nothing can separate us from your love. We are not alone in this journey. In the midst of such trying times and for such a time as this, 
leaders are being raised up. And Jim is one such leader being installed as president along with an amazing team. And so we collectively pray for Jim and his team, a team that will be leading and guiding and collaborating for the common good. We lift Jim up to you, God. May you grant him strength and guidance for his leadership in the coming year as he works collaboratively for all members around the state. Give him wisdom, discernment, strength, and resolve for such a time as this. May this newly installed team be healthy, safe, and rested so they can be ready to guide. Help them to embrace the challenges in an ever-changing market. Give them wisdom to make intelligent decisions. Give them courage to make tough decisions. And give them character to make right decisions. God, our homes, the places we seek refuge in peace and safety are so important. And so may this coming year be a time where individuals, families find the perfect home, a haven for their weary souls. And this means a continued strong real estate market. And God, may we be so bold and with audacity, may the heartwarming and much needed word sold echo through the coming year. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us, Karen. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce NHR President Mark Drapeau to offer a few marks. Before I hand over the podium to Mark, however, I just want to add, on behalf of the staff and our 7,000 members, we are incredibly grateful for your leadership this year. We began with an inventory crisis, and that turned out to be the good news. Through the pandemic, through the fight to be deemed an essential service, through the loss of Paul and Diana, this guy has been a rock and a rock star from day one providing the calm and steady hand that we so desperately needed as individuals and in industry. He was absolutely the right man at the right time, and we thank him. Here's President Mark Drapo. <clears throat> thank you, Bob. Well, as I keep telling people, it wasn't the year that we asked for, or the one that we wanted, but it was the year that we got. I wanna echo Bob's comments about Paul and Diana. I can't overstate the impact that each of them had on me personally, and I know that to be true for the association as well. They won't be forgotten, in large part because of their vision for this association continues to be reflected in our staff, and I know that will be true for a long time to come. I miss them dearly, but I am reminded of them in some form or another daily. And again, I thank you for the kind words, Bob. But what I have to say today is really nothing more than a thank you to all those who have made my job a whole lot easier. I say this with no false modesty. What I brought to the table was simple but important. A willingness to listen and communicate. A vision to expand on the good works done before me. And probably the most importantly, a sense of authentic optimism that I think came in handy when things may have looked a little bleak. But I had plenty of willing participants who were happy to play along. And if I brought a spark of optimism, it was those around me who fanned it into a flame of momentum. I genuinely can't thank this year's executive committee enough. You were in the trenches every step of the way, and each of you were laser focused on the target, our members, every inch of the way. They are all the beneficiaries of your selfless and tireless efforts. And to our staff partners at NHAR, none are better. If Diana was the leadership whisperer, Paul was her equal as the staff whisperer, empowering people to do what you think is right, as he would often say. They have continued to do the heavy lifting, exceeding expectations with every right action they take on behalf of all of us. At the risk of this becoming the Mutual Admiration Society, I've got to give a special shout out to Bob for his role. We faced twin crises this past spring, and if he even flinched, it wasn't noticeable. He carried the label of acting CEO for almost half a year, and all I can say about that is he was one hell of an actor. I'm proud to have been part of removing acting from his title. We made a great hire. To Jim Lee, I would just like to say this about the upcoming year. Put faith in the process, trust and lean on the incredible leadership team around you, and don't forget to enjoy yourself. You'll be handing this gavel over to Adam Gaudet before you know it. And finally, as this is an annual tradition at NHAR, as outgoing president, I have the great pleasure of honoring someone who has had a particularly significant impact on my year as president with the New Hampshire Realtors Distinguished Service Award. 
but as you may have heard, these are unique times. So instead of inviting this person to join me, I'm utilizing the power of technology to say goodbye to you here and hello to you there. So allow me to snap my fingers and appear on location. And just like that, we're on location. Being engaged with our association does take a commitment of our volunteers' time, time that could be spent in other ways. Our association is so appreciative of the countless hours of time our volunteers contribute to make our organization such a great one. So it's important for our volunteers to have the support and encouragement from their managing broker. I believe the managing broker recognizes that the time engaged with the association makes for a better practitioner. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the many managing brokers that encourage an agent involvement in our association. It truly means more than you realize. Now, for my managing broker, who has been beyond supportive, not just this year, but for a number of years prior, as I traveled along in my leadership journey, often acting as a sounding board, and on occasion, talking me down from the ledge. I have on so many occasions sought his counsel and wisdom, and his advice has always been solid. His moral compass is always pointing to true north. You need to only look at his office wall, lined with recognitions, to see the nature of his character. I'm pleased to present a 2020 NHAR Distinguished Service Award to my broker, and for the last two plus decades, one of my favorite people on the planet. To Mark Horahan, with my sincere appreciation. It's about time he gets one of those. Oh, this, oh, this is the actual one. Come on up. Thank you so much for all oh, your encouragement and support my in my pleasure. journey. Oh, in my that's, that's, journey. Nice. that's great. And if you'd like to say anything, you've got the camera. Well, I, and I, the I, I appreciate your comments. I overheard the, you know, keeping you off the ledge, which I'm happy you are. And I, I find myself on that ledge many times, but uh, I've always enjoyed uh, the Realtor Association, and especially this year under such great leadership with our with our current and soon to be past president. Wow. So thank you very much, Mark. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Right. And now I'm going back to Concord. And now I'm back. Let's hear it for unrehearsed performances. Congratulations again, Mark Horahan. Well, I want to say how challenging it is to keep a secret around here, especially the one that you're keeping it from has their hand in so many facets of our organization. But I think we managed to. Given the year that we've had, I felt it was warranted a second Distinguished Service Award presentation. With the circumstances that we have faced this year, it's indisputable that communications has been so essential to our associations moving forward, along with keeping our members informed of changes that affect both their personal well-being and their business activities. We would certainly not have been able to carry this out if not for the extreme competence and talents of a communications director that was able to maximize all the tools available, including technology, both old and new, to relay all this information, in many cases within moments of it coming to our association's attention. I'm so very thankful to Dave Cummings for his skill and expertise in managing information to and from membership in this most unusual personal and business climate. It is with great pleasure that I present to Dave with supreme appreciation the 2020 Distinguished Service Award. Now I present our communications director, Dave Cummings. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I guess I would just say that. What are we doing? I would just say that uh, if there were a distinguished service award um, that the staff could give, it would have been an easy one to give to Mark this year. As Bob already. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Um, as Bob alluded to, um, Mark has been amazing this year in ter and when we desperately needed it the most. Um, anything that we've asked, he's done and, and more. Um, so thank you, thank you for that. I, I guess lastly I would just say that um, because of Paul and because of Diana, we do have an incredible group here. And I really, I have to, I'll accept this on behalf of the, of the staff and in honor of Paul and Diana. Um, it's a great place to be and uh, it's because of their vision and leadership in the past that we um, that we've been able to to do what we've done and and um, and so happy that that Bob is is the new guy so I thank you to everybody involved thank you Mark and thank you very much for your kind words and now 
please welcome your 2020 NER President, Vince Molta, the installing officer for the 2021 Executive Committee. Hello to my friends in New Hampshire. It's great to join you all today for this important event. Even though it's through a screen, it's still official. The challenges keep coming in for 2020, don't they? But they make celebrations like this one more important than ever. This year has taught us that with resiliency, adaptability, and collaboration, we can accomplish anything. And I believe the Realtor team has never been stronger thanks to all of you. I would like to offer a special thank you to 2020 New Hampshire Realtor President, Mark Drapo, President-elect Jim Lee, First Vice President Adam Gaudet, Second Vice President and Treasurer Ben Cushing, Chief Executive Officer and Secretary Bob Quinn, Immediate Past President Dan O'Halloran, and the full Executive Committee and Board of Directors, all for your commitment and service during this unprecedented year. In a few minutes, I'm thrilled to help install your 2021 Executive Committee to continue this important work. Our success this year hinged on strong leadership. Thankfully, our industry was in good shape because Realtors are natural leaders. We're informed, we're engaged, and we do uh, what impacts our economy and our communities in a big way. Look at some of our successes so far. Working together, we have helped elect realtor champions. We've successfully ad advocated for real estate as an essential service during times of crisis. We're leading the way on fair housing, fighting discrimination, and promoting diversity and inclusion. We've provided business critical resources to our members in a time of need. We've shown that the real estate industry is a fundamental driver of our economy. And we've generated opportunity for Realtors by connecting practitioners, developers, and community leaders. Cooperation and collaboration at the local, state, and national levels have been key to our success. Thank you for everything you have done to enhance these partnerships and serve your members with excellence. Not only are we strengthening our connections with one another, but we're also stepping up our commitment to build more inclusive communities. Change starts with each and every one of us. And I'm proud of the tough, meaningful conversations realtors have had this year and the actions we've taken together as a result. Our board of directors recently voted to strengthen the code of ethics and made it a violation for realtors to use harassing or hate speech, whether or not the member was engaged in real estate activities at the time. This historic change reflects our values as we continue to hold ourselves and our industry to the highest standards. That's what leaders do, and that's who we are. 2020 will be remembered for many things. For me, it's the incredible resiliency that you've displayed this year. We haven't just had to adapt how we do business. We're supporting our clients during a time of great stress while caring for ourselves and our families. We're continuing to help families fulfill their dream of home ownership, and we're working together at the local, state, and federal levels with stronger connections than ever before to advance policies and innovations that will shape our industry. Sometime soon, we'll gather again in person to recognize how much we've achieved this year. Until then, I wish you all to be well, stay safe, and I thank you. Now, it gives me great pleasure to welcome virtually, of course, the following newly elected 2021 officers. Adam Gaudet, President-elect. Ben Cushing, First Vice President. Joni McIntyre, Second Vice President. Alan DiSinofano, Treasurer. Mark Drapo, immediate past president. Bob Quinn, secretary. And I also now welcome the 2021 member liaisons and committee chairs. Susan Cole, member liaison. Josh Greenwald, member liaison. 
Tammy Dubrell, member liaison. Barbara Murphy, member liaison. Jim Lyons, communications committee chair. Gail Athos, legal committee chair. Anne Cummings, professional development committee chair. Chris Norwood, public <laughs> policy committee chair. As the elected and appointed officials of one of the most prominent organizations in New Hampshire, you're accepting a position of leadership, which of course is of utmost importance. You who have been elected and appointed this year as leaders of the New Hampshire Realtors are looked to throughout the state as the leaders in the industry who are knowledgeable about issues involving real estate. Therefore, a great responsibility rests upon you as officers of the association. During this coming year, you'll be identified as the official representatives of this association by business professionals, lawmakers and regulators in New Hampshire, and you must conduct yourselves accordingly. In accepting the, this office, you're agreeing to dedicate yourselves to work for the welfare of your fellow realtors, your community, your state, and your nation. You will in this coming year of leadership enjoy many new and lasting friendships and will experience the personal satisfaction that comes only through service, cooperation, and unselfish interest on behalf of others. Your reward will be great in personal and professional satisfaction that come only to those who practice the art of giving. And now the oath of office. Please raise your right hands. You do solemnly and sincerely promise and swear that you'll administer the office to which you've been elected to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity with the constitution and bylaws of this association. That you'll observe and enforce the Realtors Code of Ethics. That you'll uphold and support the New Hampshire Real Estate Commission in its enforcement of the license law that you'll uphold and support your state and national associations, that you will in all your acts be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and in every manner possible, endeavor to promote and safeguard the best interest of your state, the high purpose of your association, and the welfare of its membership. If so, please say, I do. I do. I do. I do. You may now lower your hands. By virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I do hereby proclaim each of you to be duly installed into the office to which you've been elected. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you so much for joining us today, Vince. I would now ask our 2003 NHR president, Ann Cummings, to come forward as the installing officer for our 2021 president, Jim Lee. Ann, welcome. Thank you, Bob. It's now my honor and pleasure to ask your 2021 president and my husband, Jim Lee, to come forward for the oath of office. Jim, please raise your right hand. Do you solemnly and sincerely promise and swear that you will administer the office of president to which you have been elected to the best of your ability and judgment in conformity with the constitution and bylaws of the association? that you will observe and enforce the Realtors Code of Ethics, that you will uphold and support the New Hampshire Real Estate Commission in its enforcement of the license law, that you will uphold and support your state and national associations, that you will in all your acts be governed by the principles of honesty, justice, and fair play, and in every manner possible endeavor to promote and safeguard the best interests of your state, the high purposes of your association, and the welfare of its membership. Do you so subscribe? I do. You may lower your hand. By the virtue of the authority conferred upon me, I do hereby proclaim you to be duly installed into the office to which you have been elected. Congratulations, Jim. It's my honor to present you with your state president's pen. Thank you. Mark, please join us for the passing of the gavel. The passing of this gavel carries with it the duties and responsibilities of the office to which you have been elected. Congratulations, Jim. It's my honor to present to all the 2021 president of the New Hampshire Association of Realtors, Jim Lee. All right. Thank you, baby. It was fun saying I do to you again. And thank you, Mark. You set an excellent example on how to lead us during the most trying times. 
I share in your authentic optimism and I expect to follow the example set by you and so many before you in terms of servant leadership. As you said, we are a part of a member-driven organization, so it will be with all members at the top of mind when I consider our initiatives going forward in 2021. In addition to carrying forward the association's momentum of 2020, here are some areas I plan to focus on during my term as president. The first is to address the obvious crisis around inventory and affordable housing. As we all know, New Hampshire was suffering from a lack of inventory even prior to the pandemic, and it's only gotten worse. In fact, 60% lower than last year's inventory numbers, which were the lowest we'd seen in at least 15 years. With low inventory, of course, have come historically high median prices in New Hampshire. We will look at ways of creating more affordable housing in two ways. First, by utilizing our NHAR resources to advocate upon the so local, state, and federal level. And second, by encouraging individual realtors to act locally in their own municipalities by pushing back against housing myths and reminding the world that housing is, in fact, the cornerstone of successful communities. I'm also interested in continuing the trend of more member involvement. Along with the pandemic's obvious challenges have also come opportunities for engagement, and we will continue to take advantage of that. Through the use of various media platforms, we've been able to reach more of our members in 2020 than in any year prior, and there's no reason to stop that momentum. Much of that engagement has been education-based, whether more formally by hosting designation and certification courses, or informally if it's done over the past few months with such webinars as David Knox, Matthew Ferrara, and Tom Lumstead. Our professional development committee will be looking more closely at keeping that series of less formal educational systems moving forward at low or no cost to our members. I also plan to stress the value of professional standards in our industry. I was very proud of the way our members as a whole adhered to the strict safety guidelines placed on us after we were deemed an essential service. So I know that we all share in the belief that we're only as good as our willingness to personify our Realtor Code of Ethics. It will be a priority of mine to keep our code front and center. And finally, speaking of that essential service designation, I hope we can all agree that we've learned a whole lot about the value of the Realtor Political Action Committee, or RPAC, this year. Those relationships that are formed with your investment in RPAC, whether at the state or national level, have never been more critical. And with that in mind, I'm setting the goal this year of the highest RPAC participation in NHAR I've ever had in 2021. I also uh, intend to extend my record of being a major investor in RPAC for the past 20 years, and I invite all of my fellow realtors in New Hampshire to join me. Let's continue to have a seat at the table and continue to protect and promote the real estate industry. So that's what you can expect from NHAR in the year ahead, and I invite all of our members to stay connected with us as we do it. I'm excited for the challenge, I appreciate your trust, and I'm very much looking forward to working with my leadership team and each of our NHAR committees as we forge ahead into 2021. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim, and congratulations. That concludes today's installation ceremony, and I thank you all for joining us in support of your 2021 New Hampshire Association of Realtors leadership team. From all of us here at NHAR, we wish you a wonderful holiday season. Thank you. Goodbye.